In this video, we'll see how to find a product price using the VLOOKUP function. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. Before we start, here's a look at what we're going to build. It's a workbook with two sheets, one for an order and one for products. And on the order form, we'll enter a product name and quantity, and a VLOOKUP formula will get the price, and then we'll multiply price times quantity to get a total. On the other sheet, we have the list of four product names and their prices. Now we're ready to build the new workbook. So I've opened a blank file and named two sheets. One is products and one is order. First, I'm going to create a list of products. So I'll type the two headings. One is product and then price. And then I'll be typing the four product names here and the prices in the next column. Once the list is finished, I'm going to turn this into a named Excel table. So click any cell in this list. On the Home tab, go to Format as Table. Select the format that you'd like and click. It will automatically select a range if it can find one and that looks correct. And I've also got a check mark here for my table has headers. Click OK. Now we've got a table. The last thing I'll do here is format these numbers. So I'll select them. And on the Home tab, instead of General, I'll make Number. So they're nicely lined up at the decimal point. If I click any cell in this table, and go to Design, which is under Table Tools, we can see that Excel gave this a default name with a number, Table 1. I'm going to change this to TBL Product, so the name means something if I see it somewhere else. And press Enter. Now we'll switch to the Order Sheet. I'm going to select A and B and just make them a bit wider so we have room for our data entries. In cell B2, I'm going to type order form. Then in A4 to A7, I'm going to type the labels product, quantity, unit price, and total price. In B4 to B7, we're going to have two data entry cells and two formula cells. I'm going to put borders around all of those cells and I'll use the All Border setting. These two cells I'm going to make a light green color to show that that's where data should be entered. These two I'll make gray and that gives people a hint that they shouldn't do something in those cells. In this cell I'm going to type Desk because that's one of our products and I would like 10 desks in this order. And in this cell, we're going to use a VLOOKUP formula to get the price of the desk. So with cell B6 selected, type an equal sign and start typing VLOOKUP. And as you type, Excel will find a formula that matches what you've typed so far. Then you can press TAB to enter that formula and the first bracket. Then we have to tell Excel what we want to look up. And that's whatever product we typed. So I'm going to click on the cell with the product, which is B4, and type a comma. Next, the table, the place we want it to go and find the information. So I'll go back to the product sheet, select the cells with the product names and prices, and Excel automatically recognized our table, and it put the table in, comma. And next, we need a column index number. So if there are multiple columns in the table, which column should it get the data from? So it's not about which column number on the worksheet, but which column number within this lookup table. We want something from the second column which is the price. So I'll type a 2 here and another comma. And finally, do we want an approximate match? So the first thing it finds that is close to what we're looking for. Now, we don't want that for pricing. We want an exact match. So I'll click on false, press tab, 
and then close the bracket and press enter. So it found that our unit price is 75 and we'll just check that and desk is 75. If we change it to lamp it should get 15 as the price so we'll just test that and there's our correct price for that. And the last step in the formulas is to multiply quantity times unit price to get a total. Well, that's a equal sign. Click on the quantity, an asterisk to multiply, and click on unit price, then press enter. So we now have our two cells to put in our product and quantity, and then these cells will do the calculations. Just to tidy this up a bit, I'll select all the cells and center them. The two pricing cells, I'll make number format, just like we have on the product sheet. And then you could make your heading a bit bolder. And with these labels, you can make them right aligned. And then I would just indent it a little bit so they're not right at the edge of the cell. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.